I love my toys, but I hate Zach Kong's STD. No, Rockstar Games would never announce a game at some random game award. All right, little Timmy, you listen here and you listen here real good. Long before you were thought of, way back when, at E3 2006, Rockstar Games actually announced Grand Theft Auto 4 at a random game award. In 2006, with an arm tattoo. I know you don't remember that, but it is possible they've done it before and they might just do it again. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> December 12th, 2019 might finally be the day. So as it stands right now, we have a 50-50 chance of possibly seeing something Grand Theft Auto 6 related this coming week in just a few days on Thursday. Not only are we going to be getting a GTA Online update, but it might be something big. And I say 50-50 chance, obviously, because we either will or we won't get any information regarding the announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, where does all of this come from? Well, on December 12th, 2019, this coming Thursday, the Game Awards 2019 ceremony is going to take place. Now, if you don't know what the Game Awards is, it's a yearly or annual a ceremony honoring achievements in the video game industry and even announcing new games. Well, just a few days ago, a very interesting leak popped up, and it's a list of 10 possible video games that are going to be announced at the Game Awards 2019. And on that list is Grand Theft Auto 6, alongside 10 other games. Now, I want to make it clear that just a few days ago, when this 4chan leak came about, there was no credibility backing this up until Jeff Keighley, the founder of the Game Awards, did an AMA just around two days ago. And basically, he kind of confirmed that there are going to be 10 brand new games and projects being revealed this year at the Game Awards. But he doesn't confirm which games are going to be at the Game Awards. So that's where it gets interesting that this 4chan leak might be right, although it wasn't 100% confirmed. Now, as far as the AMA goes, somebody asked, how many reveals and announcements shall we be expecting this year? And Jeff said, we have a bunch of brand new games being announced at the show. I think there are around 10 new games and projects being revealed if you want to count the things that no one has heard about yet. As always, the internet has a lot of really bad information out there about what you think is at the show, but it sure is fun to read. So hopefully I'm not adding fuel to the fire. I'm not really creating my own theories or speculating. I'm just kind of regurgitating different things I found online and pieced it together like a detective. Obviously, I'm no expert. That doesn't make it right. But anyways, as far as that AMA goes, that right there confirmed that we're going to see at least 10 new projects being revealed at the Game Awards this year. And then... If we go back to that 4chan leak with 11 projects that are possibly going to be announced, well, that kind of goes hand in hand. And like I said, Jeff Keighley kind of indirectly confirmed that, yes, we're going to have games obviously revealed, but he doesn't confirm which games. Now, let's talk about this list from 4chan and this leak of 11 games. The first is Batman Arkham Legacy is revealed, scheduled for holiday 2020. Crash Bash Remake Revealed, scheduled for June 19th, 2020. Resident Evil 3 Remake Revealed, release date is unknown. Banjo-Kazooie Remake, titled banjo Redui is revealed and scheduled for Fall 2020. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2 is revealed, scheduled for April 17th, 2020. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remakes Revealed, is scheduled for Summer 2020. Metroid Prime Trilogy Revealed for Nintendo Switch. Sly 5 is revealed, release date unknown. GTA 6 is finally shown off, release date is unknown. Gameplay of Zelda, BOTW 2 is shown off with a scheduled release date for holiday 2020. Phoenix Wright is revealed to be a challenger pack 5 for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So obviously the most interesting thing on this list for us and my channel is Grand Theft Auto 6 is finally shown off, release date unknown. So, what my guess is by this is Grand Theft Auto 6 finally being shown off is all we're going to get is a logo. Just like E3 2006. 
just a logo. That's it. We're not going to get a trailer. E3 2006 gave us a release date of October 2007 for GTA 4. Obviously, that was pushed back like six months, which Rockstar does with pretty much every one of their games. You can always expect a delay. But my guess is that we're just going to get a logo, and that's it. Just to know that the game exists and it's coming. It's not going to say when, how, why, what. And then in early 2020, we will get the first trailer for GTA 6, and then we'll know kind of what's going on. It'll be a short teaser, and then over time, we'll get the announcement, release date, and all of that stuff. So GTA 4 was announced with a release date in 2006 at E3. GTA 5, however, was announced in November 2011, just like out of nowhere one day on the Rockstar Newswire and on Twitter and every social media platform. And kind of the history with the GTA 5 announcement, which is odd because Rockstar kind of just pops up out of nowhere a lot of times. And they're like, oh, hey, here, here's what we got. So in uh, October 2011, Rockstar was asked on an AMA about GTA 5, when it's going to be announced, what's going on. And Rockstar said, hey, we don't have any information regarding this. Just stay tuned. Then about two weeks later... Rockstar just posted on the Newswire, Twitter, every social media, just the GTA 5 logo. That was it. No information. Nothing. Just a logo. And then about two weeks later, Rockstar actually gave us the first ever short trailer or teaser for GTA 5. So Rockstar works in mysterious ways. My guess is that at the Game Awards, if Rockstar does announce Grand Theft Auto 6 or if GTA 6 is just announced in general, it's just going to be a logo and that's going to be it. There's going to be no trailer, no information about the game, probably no release date. We're just going to know that it exists. So another interesting thing to note is that Rockstar Games is actually on the advisory board for the Game Awards. If you go to their website to the About section, you'll see all these people on the advisory board. Sony's actually on there. Uh, it's just a lot of individual game developers and founders and things like that. And then there's Rockstar Games. So I just want to clear this up and let you guys know that Rockstar Games has pretty much been on the advisory board since the Game Awards started in 2014. So this is nothing new this is nothing special at all this doesn't confirm anything rockstar has literally been a part of this since the beginning i just wanted to clear that up because browsing reddit the gta forums i've seen a lot of misconception from people saying wait rockstar is on this advisory board this means that yes we are gonna get something regarding gta 6 that's not the case like i said we've got a 50 50 chance either a yes or a no as much as I want to lean towards the side of yes, it's probably more towards the no side, but there's just so much going on, and the hype for GTA 6 is so real, and we're like, like in that episode of Spongebob, where he's just like needing water, and he's in Sandy's house with no water. That's how we are with GTA 6 at this point, it seems like. So, the last thing that I want to talk about is Rockstar Games and Sony teaming up. I know what you're thinking to yourself. Zach, there's no way that Rockstar and Sony would team up. Well, well, Rockstar's done that before, and that's what they did with the announcement to Grand Theft Auto 4. I know I keep bringing that up, but Rockstar teamed up with Microsoft to announce Grand Theft Auto 4. It was a Microsoft high up who announced the game and got it tattooed on his arm. And I've talked about it so much in this video, I'm just going to let a short clip of that actually play through. So what I'd like to show you is my new edition. But it gets even better. Microsoft and Rockstar Games have entered into a strategic partnership to provide exclusive episodic content via Xbox Live. All right, so obviously Grand Theft Auto 6 would not be console exclusive. Rockstar would never do that. Just because Rockstar and Sony might be teaming up, that doesn't mean that GTA 6 would only release on the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5. And because of that, let's actually talk about the December 2018 paste bin leak, which I have brought up on the channel many times. For just those of you who don't know, a short little recap. In December 2018, there was a paste bin leak from a third party small developer from Europe. And he basically gave us information and insight on the PlayStation 5, the specs, when we could expect a PlayStation 5 release date and announcement, and boom, everything came true. Even the description of the controller. Now, the PlayStation 5 obviously hasn't been formally announced, but when it was basically announced a few months ago by Sony as far as, hey, the PlayStation 5 is coming, holiday 2020, expect that. That turned out to be real. Well, also in the paste bin leak says, 
GTA 6 Holiday 2020. Most probably not hearing anything PS4 related. Hearing that Sony is paying huge money to secure a one month time exclusive for the PlayStation 5. Been hearing rumors about Miami and New York. So two big cities, but I'm not sure if that's 100% True. So, being that this paste bin leak has been right pretty much nine times out of ten so far as far as the PlayStation 5 goes, we can only hope that this GTA 6 related stuff is real as well. I just found that very interesting to bring up, and any chance that I do get to bring that up, I will. Now, just want to talk about the PlayStation 5 real quick for those of you who are excited. Obviously, the PS5 hasn't been formally revealed, so for GTA 6 to be announced especially for a console that's not even revealed yet. I don't foresee that happening or GTA 6 being announced or revealed 100% until the PlayStation 5 is. But what I can say is, who knows? And like I said, if Rockstar at the Game Awards will just give us a GTA 6 logo, that's all we need. And then in early 2020, that's when we get GTA 6 announced, when the PlayStation 5 has formally been revealed. Now, there's been images of the PlayStation 5 leaked, and I want to say that it looks wonky, it's crazy, and you guys probably think the same thing, but that's a dev kit. That's going to look way different than the final version of the PlayStation 5. In fact, if you don't believe me, in the background of the PlayStation 5 dev kit, picture we can actually see the ps4 dev kit that's right that right there in the background was the playstation 4 dev kit and obviously that's not what the ps4 looks like so anyways hopefully y'all enjoy the video i just want to say kind of be on the lookout this thursday december 12th because there's a 50 50 chance that we may or may not see a gta 6 announcement and by that i just mean the logo so if y'all enjoy the video give it a thumbs up a little love goes a long way i appreciate your support so much we're all so excited for gta 6 and we just hope that rockstar will give us something very very soon but only time will tell i feel like if it's not at the very soon by the end of the year It'll just be by May 2020. We will have a GTA 6 announcement. So anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. Love you all. Consider subscribing. Hope to see you in the next video.